So the U.S. Attorney's Office announcing today a step towards justice for the owners of more than 470 vehicles across Massachusetts and New Hampshire. Seven men from Western Massachusetts have been charged in a $2 million operation involving the stealing and selling of catalytic converters. 22 News reporter Kate Wilkinson is live in Feeding Hills with where the FBI said the leader of that operation lived. And the FBI and state police raided this home, this apartment complex right behind me, Rafael Davila living there. And this all happening after months of investigation, the arrest coming after they started these thefts in March of 2022. Deb was woken up by her husband around six in the morning when she said the FBI arrived at her neighbor's apartment. He heard them holler who they were. They were here with a warrant banged in the door. 22 News was there as agents carried out boxes of car parts. State police seized at least three vehicles from this home in Feeding Hills, including this vehicle right here with Massachusetts plates. In a news conference in Boston, the U.S. Attorney Rachel Rollins said Rafael Davila and six others took part in stealing catalytic converters. They were able to work quickly in removing parts from residential and commercial vehicles, adding Davila would steal from more than 10 vehicles a night, with 26 in one night alone. Once in possession of the stolen catalytic converters, they were sold to core buyers in New Jersey and Connecticut. And it's alleged that in some weeks, these seven individuals received between forty and $80,000 from their crimes. Among other things, the seven men are charged with transporting stolen property in interstate commerce as well as interstate transportation of stolen property. And I'll have what the U.S. Attorney's Office said. Some of the other men within the group committed in terms of crimes that we also know about. We're with you live in Feeding Hills. Kate Wilkinson, 22 News.